Thank you guys for tuning in again. And Jean Jean loves plants. I love to see you. This week, I'm going back to the farmer's market and I'm going to pick up some new philodendrons. All right, and crack house again. Union Square Farmer's Market. Looking for a plant for my window. Okay, and fantastic gardens. Let's see what they have. philodendron brazils one's marble and two are solid so i'm going to mix it up in one pot and see what happens these are from my window i'll be replanting these soon you like my hat but look in there look at all that goodness look at all that plant goodness ah i'm so excited excited that I have come home I have not even taken off my clothes to take a shower see I'm coming from work the whiskers are up I finally found the plant that I want to replace the spider plants I have now here's the thing I have two spider plants I have let both of them die I actually have three um, but one of them has died um, two of them have died. So I'm gonna replace them. They're sitting in the window. I'm gonna show you what they look like in their current state. Please try not to judge me. I, why waste your time judging me? Oh, but I found these plants and I'm so super excited that I could not even wait to get my black hey, yes. home. I don't even know if I can say that. Don't ban me YouTube because I said hey, yes. I said it with two Z's. I just want to replant these things right now. And I'm, again, don't always do what I say. Don't always follow my rules. I'm supposed to quarantine these things for like two weeks. I'm not gonna do that because I'm tired of looking at those dead spider plants. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But look at this. I got three plants for 15 bucks. All right, 15 bucks. crazy <laughs> so I got two of these 
This is a philodendron cordatum, right? Super amazing. So I got two of these. I'll just give you some fun facts on these guys. Um, these guys are native to Central and South America. They are, you can tell what they are by their heart-shaped leaves. They're also called horsehead philodendrons. Um, I can't get it out of the bag. I don't want to break it. But it's so much plant for five dollars, that's crazy. Then I'm reading up on the suckers, and they are rare. So that's a little crazy. Oh, uh, that's a little crazy balls. Look at this. So I got two of these suckers. Five dollars a piece. And then I got this guy. A philodendron Brazil. Now you would think, because these guys have heart-shaped leaves, right? But that they're one color, that this would be more expensive, right? Or that these would even be, this would be rare. And it's not, it's pretty common. This guy can be traced back to a single place in Central America. This one's called a philodendron Brazil because that's where it's from. That's where it's located. So that's really beautiful. So I'm gonna repot these guys. And the rules are kind of the same for all the plants. Um, they want to be in a loose, well-draining soil, a chunky soil. And um, let's have it. I'm so super embarrassed. Look at these guys. Look at that. So I'll be totally honest. I couldn't get these guys to do anything. This guy is the bane of my existence. And what it'll do is it'll like sprout some little ridiculous little leaf so that you think it's doing well. So I'll give it all this attention and I could never get it to get bushy. It will get bushy on one side, but not all the sides. So I'm done with you. I don't want to mess with you. I don't want to bother with you. In the trash you go. Do not feel bad about not being able to care for all your plants. I can't care for all of mine. I'm not that good at it. I'm being honest. I have killed, I have killed so many plants trying to take care of them and I'm through with it so like I said the philodendron both philodendrons um, do like to be in a chunky soil um, they can grow in a hundred percent sphagnum moss which is great so I'm gonna give them a mix of sphagnum moss and um, I don't know I might try to use reuse some of the soil because I used all of it well a lot of it planting my uh, San Zaleria. All right, so you couldn't see, but I save my soil um, from plant to plant, like for the plants, <laughs> for the plant graveyard. Um, I will reuse some of those plants. And I um, often get to reuse that. Sometimes I won't, it'll be too long and I will actually um, not necessarily use that, uh, that plant medium. Um, but this time I am, I'm recycling some old um, cactus, palm, and succulent soil that I have, and I've mixed it thoroughly um, with some sphagnum moss. Um, I'm not going to go 100% like it said, um, because I like the chunkiness um, of that soil that I, I'm mixing it with, so that's why I'm doing that. I don't think you guys need to see it. Let me know in the comments if you do. You guys get kind of like pissed off when I don't um, show how I'm mixing things, but I just want to do this so quickly. Uh, whatever. <laughs> all right. Okay. So I'm not going to give you guys all the deets. Um, just some things to think about. Um, these guys grow really, really fast. Um, they can grow about one to two feet in a year. Um, they are toxic to animals, um, and I'm assuming that would be humans too. Um, so it's good to know that if you have small kids or animals um, running around. You, want, you might want to do your due diligence and keep these out of the way. All right, watering. You're going to want to water these guys um, weekly, um, but that's like the general rule. I think the general rule uh, should really be um, you want to make sure that the first two to three inches of your soil um, are dry before you give it water. Um, every region 
has its own set of rules and even in different zones of the you want to make sure that it dries out um, before you water it. I decided it might be better for you to see a plant. Lighting. Um, these guys do well in bright and direct light. Um, you do not want to give them direct light because it will burn the leaves. So this is what they look like. Again, I told you I really should be quarantining these guys, but I'm so excited to get them in the window. I'm just gonna do what I want. Don't always do what I do. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so they don't wanna be more than six feet away from a window. These guys are going into um, a window that gets pretty good indirect light, not bright, um, direct light. So right now I'm just loosening up that root ball so that it kind of can just do what it wants to um, once I get it in the soil. And look how beautiful those roots are. Sorry, that's that little system that's gonna allow this to live a long and luxurious life as a plant in Eugene's house. <laughs> what plant wouldn't want to live here? Well, I tell you, there's a whole bunch of them because you'll just kill them. <laughs> I don't kill all plants. Um, these guys are super easy to propagate. Um, you just take a cutting, make sure that the nodes are submerged. We already know what nodes are because I've gone through this several times, guys. And all of you guys passed the pop quiz, so it is what it is. And I'm gonna put these all in the same pot just because I want that mix of variegated and not variegated. Um, and a lot of their care requirements are so similar, um, if not the same, that um, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, again, these do um, do well in um, bright and direct light and low light conditions. One thing to know that the variegation on this one, the Philodendron Brazil, will be more pronounced um, in higher light conditions. So in lower light conditions, you might ne not necessarily see um, the variegation that you want to see. I think it's interesting to know um, or to note um, that this Philodendron, the Philodendron Brazil, um, does remove toxins from the air, like formaldehyde. Um, some other ones that I cannot pronounce, but you can definitely look up, um, and other uh, VOCs. These guys can tolerate being root bound, but they don't necessarily like it. I can't believe I got these plants for this little cheap price. Um, you just wanna make sure that the nodes right here are submerged, cause that is where what? Yeah, that's where your roots are gonna come from. So you wanna make sure that that is submerged. You want it to dry out um, at least the top two to three inches um, before watering. You do not wanna uh, drown your plant. Um, <clears throat> and that's about it. It's gonna go in my window. I'm super happy, like I said, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Thank you. So I wanted to leave you with this. Um, I had one of uh, my subscribers uh, show me what she learned. Um, she learned how to make her plants more full uh, by kind of cutting them up. She knew where the nodes were and she propagated those suckers and she just wanted to show me her success. So I just wanted to give her a thumbs up. I love you, thank you. Thank you guys again for coming and greeting me one more week. Come back next week for more plant news. Make sure you subscribe, like, and tell a friend.